As my dad said over dinner a couple of months ago, it's a remarkable relationship that cannot just survive the last year, but grow stronger through it. In April, I was planning an engagement. In May, Rose, my partner of the last two years, drove away for good. We've always known that there were substantial differences. Rose is 25, I'm 10 years older. We're in different stages of our lives. And where Rose doesn't want a single committed partner, I think I do. We started talking about the potential of engagement in midwinter. Things were going so well, and engagement was not the commitment of marriage, but the exploration of our next steps as a couple. Then we got each of us our first shots of the COVID-19 vaccine, and it forced us to reckon with not just how things were going, but what we would want in the future. I've been through heartbreak before, many times. And while grief doesn't seem to get any easier, I do have a better toolkit to deal with it than I have in the past. In the last year, I've built better practices, mental, emotional, and physical, than I've ever had before. And that's the first tactic I've doubled down on after this heartbreak. My pillars are entrepreneurship, movement, and self-awareness. And within each of these, I have a lot of specific practices. Where I was running a few days a week before the breakup, now I'm running five miles every single day. Whereas I was journaling a couple of pages most days, now I'm journaling 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes at night. What are your pillars? What are the practices in your life that give you strength? When the going gets tough, double down on your routine and make those practices bigger. I bawled when Rose drove away. Oh my gosh. After what has been some of the best times I've ever spent in relationship, this ending has hit me really hard. And that's something that I'm doing different this time around. I'm really experiencing the grief. Whereas previously, I think I've hidden from grief a lot. This time I'm letting it in and sometimes even seeking it out. Give yourself permission to grieve honor the space that it takes. And actually, sometimes seek out those emotions because you have a lot to learn from them. I was really surprised in the few days after Rose left to find myself back in Marin County, my old home and the site of a previous breakup. It's a place that Rose and I spent a lot of time early in our relationship. And it was cathartic, hiking those old familiar trails. And that's the next thing that I'm doing differently, is really listening to myself and to what I need. Each of us processes emotions differently. But if you really sit with yourself quietly, and listen to what you're craving, there's a lot to learn and the process can be easier. I've judged myself through most of my life for being a little bit dramatic. I was the sensitive kid growing up and when I got upset, that sensitivity came out as upset generally at other people. And I'm having plenty of ups and downs right now, but the difference is that I'm not blaming anyone for that experience and I'm not trying to hide from it. During a previous breakup, I watched the entirety of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Now, I'm taking time alone, and then I'm calling friends and crying on shoulders. I don't like that I need to rely on other people and ask for help, and so that's my hardest tactic. Don't judge your coping strategies. However you're coping, that's okay.
Grief, heartbreak, transitions are extremely difficult, but also represent an incredible opportunity for growth. So take advantage of that time. My emotions vary day to day. And yet by sitting and listening to where you are, noticing what comes up, there's a lot to learn. For me, that's who am I? Where do I want to live? What do I want in a relationship? What do I want to do next? The more time you take to listen and use this opportunity as difficult as it is to figure out where to from here, you'll be grateful that you have. All right. The incredible opportunity of this time is that it's going on right now. As difficult as grief and heartbreak are, embrace this opportunity. Live through it. Learn through it. <laughs>